Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Nick. A couple people have been asking where have I been lately, so I figured I would shoot an update on the project I've been working on. Behind me here is a TV lift cabinet. I'm building it out of cherry and aspen. All of the show surfaces are solid cherry and all of the non-show surfaces are solid aspen. I planed down the boards and glued everything together and right now I got the carcass completely done and the uh, face frame as well. All the face frame is done in mortise and tenon joinery and I have a coat, one coat of finish wipe on poly on both the outside of the sides and then the face frame as well. What makes this cabinet unique is what I alluded to just a bit ago. That's, it's a TV lift cabinet. TV lift cabinet wanted to sponsor one of my videos, so I figured I would build a cabinet that would lift a TV. That makes sense, doesn't it? Well, anyways, they supplied the mechanism that will actually lift a TV. I haven't measured everything 100% yet, but I designed it so that it'll fit at least a 52-inch TV, if not a 55-inch TV. And like I said, I was literally just working on this, so I wanted to kind of do an update. A lot of people have been wondering, you know, where have my videos been? And this thing has kept me pretty busy, and there's been a lot of things in the works, and, well, you know, you're limited in shop time sometimes, and uh, so it, it sometimes takes a little while. And this thing is turning out nice. Actually, I really couldn't be happier at this point. And like I said, I got the face frame all done, the sides, the carcass, everything's glued on. I think at the next point... I actually have the top glued up as well, and uh, that's out of solid cherry. I was planning on maybe some kind of a crown molding detail towards the top. I'm not quite sure if that'll fit with the style, because initially in my drawing, I had the whole bottom was skirted in like kind of a shoe molding, baseboard type molding. But the way I kind of configured it, I was thinking, I actually like it this way better, because this bottom shelf... It actually has a notch out of the back of it, and that's a, to allow the TV lift mechanism to kind of sit below that and almost sit on the floor. In fact, if it's a heavy enough TV, which, you know, they're getting lighter and lighter every day, but um, I'll show some of the angles of the back as well. But uh, if there were to ever be any sag in it, it would actually rest right on the floor. So that was kind of by design. But like I said, the TV lift itself, the mechanism, will support up to 80 pounds, and I was looking at like 52 inch TVs and they were right around 38 pounds. So we're not even talking quite half of its capacity. So I think it's built beefy enough to where that's not going to be a problem. And like I said, just, I mean, TVs are just getting lighter and lighter. I have a 46 in the house that's probably, oh, I don't know, about two hernias heavy. But either way, um, like I said, the top is glued up completely. And I have to basically rip it down uh, and to allow kind of a flap. And I'm going to do a piano hinge on the back itself. And that will allow for the TV to essentially just pop right up. And they also sent me an infrared repeater, which I thought was super, super cool. Because at first when I was designing this, I kind of figured I had to design it uh, with clear doors. So that, you know, your TV remote could shine through the glass to your cable box or something like that. But there's actually a, a small little like jewel, an optical jewel, then with a wire that attaches to it. And then that goes through the cabinet and either points to your cable box or your TV. And then the mechanism itself is kind of like one of those dust collectors to where it senses an amperage draw. It's got the same technology built into where when you turn the TV on, it senses that there's being current being drawn and it automatically lifts it up. I've played around with it a little bit. Uh, I just got the mechanism in probably two, three days ago. And uh, it's, it's fast enough. I mean, it's not like, you know, it shoots like a rocket out of the top. But, but it's super quiet, which I was actually really digging. And as of right now, in my living room, I pretty much have everything set to how I want it. But now that my wife has come out here and seen this thing a few times... She's thinking she wants to keep it and we want to reconfigure our whole living room. Not necessarily my plan from the get-go, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, it's going to have two double doors right here. You guys can weigh in in the comment section. I was either going to have the doors just meet up against one another, or I was going to do one of the doors with a false face frame to where you'd shut one door first, then the second door, and it would look like there's a vertical a style running between the doors. 
Uh, I didn't want to actually put one there just in case you would have a larger, say like a five disc DVD changer or something to that effect. I didn't want you to, you know, not be able to put that type of equipment in it. And then it's also got three drawers on the side that are all the same size. Again, those are going to be cherry fronts, and then I'm going to build the boxes uh, out of Aspen. And Aspen, for those of you guys that have never worked with it, is very similar to Poplar. It is um, kind of very similar in density and whatnot, but it's, um, it's more regional to me, so it's a little bit uh, cheaper for me to uh, actually get that stuff. So that's what I was going to build the boxes out of themselves. And I actually had some 110 or full, full travel drawer slides, some ball bearing ones. And they're just going to be side mount ones. I was going to do underneath ones or even wooden ones, but then I'm like, there's a TV lift mechanism with a motor in it. So I don't have to necessarily go 100% period correct. And the ball bearing ones are really nice because, like I said, they have that overextension to where, you know, you can actually get to the complete drawer itself and it holds a lot of weight. And then this top drawer is going to be a full length drawer. And I got a couple little quirky plans planned for inside that drawer. I won't divulge that just yet, but that should be really cool. I'm working on uh, getting this completed. I have all the hardware and everything. I have all the material. It's just a, mount, a matter of finding time for it. And uh, with all the other things coming up these days, WIA being right around the corner, a matter of days, um, it's been taken away from a little bit of my shop time. But once I get the build done, and I'm hoping within a week, maybe two to two and a half, to actually have the full build project done, this thing is going to be absolutely killer. It, I haven't worked with Cherry in, gosh, I think I was like a freshman in high school since I got to work with Cherry last. I mean, for a larger project. But uh, yeah, no, it should be really cool. And um, that's about all I have for the update. I've been alive and well and kicking. Some of you guys have and, you know, questioned in about where you've been. So that's what I've been working on. And, uh, well, like I said, it's, it's coming along. I don't have all that much time left on it, I don't think. But you always find that to be different later, right? <laughs> all right, well, that's about all I have for you for this update for my larger build project. And uh, until I see you guys next time, you guys, take care.